So we've just had a call from a customer who's um, having their full fibre installed uh, in the village and they've asked us to come and take a look because there's been a little bit of a problem. So I'm not too sure what the problem is, but let's head over there, take a look. Now, as the customer is local, it's going to take me a few minutes just to head over there. So this is a great opportunity to update you with the problem. So the customer is having their full fiber installation today. And what I do know is that they're not particularly happy with where OpenReach have suggested putting the cable. Now the cable can't come in to the property as they normally would do, which is to the outside edge of the front door where the cable will come in. However, the customer's router is way, way back at the rear of the property. This constitutes a bit of a problem because there's no way of getting that fiber connection over to the router. So they've asked me to come in and consult to come up with a solution to the problem. And here is that problem. That bare cable that you see there actually is the cable that will take the telephone or the analog broadband service through to where it would join up at the front of the building. Now that cable actually goes up the wall inside the cavity through a bit of a lost space down the wall again and is then connected to the joint box that you would have outside your front of the property. So we now need to come up with a plan to take the full fiber installation around the rear of the building, all the way down the rear of the building, around the outside of that building, and then somehow join it up to where the cable comes into the property. However, the cladding prohibits you from drawing that cable through, and therefore there is no way that you could connect that fiber to this connection. So if we come outside, you can see here, this is basically where the existing phone system comes in. So this is the existing phone system, and you've got this really tight um, uh, bend here, which is the existing ducting that goes off down through the gravel here, but obviously that's not gonna work out. So what we're doing instead is that the guys have decided to go and intercept the connection. So we can see here, this is a line here where they're going to put an intercept in and what they're going to do and what they're doing right now is bringing that to our splicing point right here on this property and that will be then um, connected there and then brought back into the property on the other side of the wall where we saw that router. So you can see that what's happening is the guys are tucking the cable in and they're just gonna bring that around. That's gonna come around to a point here where they'll leave the tail and then they will that will be spliced once this piece of work here has been has been completed nice and cool excellent piece of work and here it is this is the existing system here, all connected up. So that's the existing system right there. And here is the new system here, ready to go. So that's all ready to go. And the customer's still up and running so that they're not losing any internet connection. And their phone's also working as well. So that's all been done. Without uh, turning on the answer machine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> we'll try that again. <laughs> We've got the internet up and running. Internet's still running here and we have the phone system also working as well. So that's all good, pre-existing. And of course, at some point, this will take over. This will become redundant. So as we've said before, this is the kind of installation that um, we like to do because it's quite important that the customer gets exactly what they want. And they have been, uh, you know, pretty uh, concerned about getting the installation done properly. And the guys from OpenReach have done a really good job on having that installation done properly. Uh, so they know what they're doing. They're doing a good job. Um, so that's another installation done for today. So thanks for watching. <laughs>